Welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm Krigo and we are on the hunt for two black bears for the museum ride. We have to get a kill, quick kill bonus of 100. And the challenge is to use the 270 rival. Well, we have our old school best friend in our hands. So, you know, this one we used a lot in Hirschfelden though. So, I think we are comfortable with this mission. We only have to find the bears now. There's a big, big boy moose right there. And he did a mating call, so hopefully he's going this way. There he is. Oh, what are we doing? Come on. Not on Peggy. Just put the moose collar back. We got its attention though, right? You know, it was halting. Oh, this is the one that we could not find in the last episode. Bye-bye. Now I can find you for sure. Yep, there you go. All right. I thought with the, the last one. Well, we did shoot this, right? You know, this is a continuation of that mission, of course. Well, not mission, uh, episode. We were looking like idiots around. Idiots! Because in that direction, he did run, the one that we did shoot with an arrow. And we could not find blood trails. But for some reason, he ended up here. That does not make a lot of sense to me, though. Although I'm very happy that the wind is turning again to the direction where we have to go to. It's just tough luck. We will just go march right through it. But anyways, how he did get over here, I have no idea. No idea at all. There we go. Yeah, he should be down there, huh? But anyways, we got him. And that is very important. Bye bye. I could have gone to my. Um, how shall I say, right? My bow and arrow, and with the rank one arrows. But here we go. The silver one. He was very happy about it. And if we use the bow, we would have totally gotten hmm, the correct one. Hey. I mean. Okay. Nobody else around here. Nobody else around here. There you go. I mean, this rival is so hella easy, though, compared with the one that I'm using uh, right now. The 7mm one. Oh, the reason is, if you do miss once, it's alright, though. As long as there's something in the magazine, then you can just repeat, shoot four times. There you go. Oh my god. It's like they are killing themselves almost, right? Now where is that moose? So I was correct, he was upstairs. My, 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 my. I thought he did run downstairs though, but apparently no. Hey, Peggy, what the? Why? You did a good job though, huh? It's a pretty one. And yeah, this is the arrow of uh, the first time though. It's so weird. It's so weird to see him here when there were no blood trails on the other side. So strange. Or maybe something did happen to him, right? Maybe he was attacked by a bear? I don't know if that is happening in the game. Or that he did fell down something, you know? And that from height damage? I don't know. But there were no blood trails there. That's all I can say. It's It, it doesn't make sense in my mind. That is one beautiful deer. And now let's see where the other one is. Down there. 219 experience. I mean, for something that just walks inside of your arms, that's, that's kind of simple, isn't it? 
Oh, look at that one. Yeah, I miss shooting the 270 though. I don't know why it feels so so comfortable, right? If you miss, you can just do it again. Hmm. It will be an easy shot from here though, if I regain some stamina. Okay, I thought it was a bear there. But we have to be careful. We are bear hunters right now at this mission. That is what our job is. And yet we are getting distracted left and right. Ah, oh, well. It happens, right? Let's wait for stamina. Meter to go a little bit more stable. There we go. And right there. What the? We did overshoot? Undershoot? What the? Okay, well, I'm not used to this rifle anymore. Yeah, we did miss all three there. <laughs> but how can we overshoot and undershoot when we are aiming at the same thing, right? The only difference was what? Like a centimeter? Well, I know, I know. For very long distances, that's all it takes, right? But really now? But it's fun, you know, to shoot like couple of rounds after another it gives that sense of security right you know if you just do a bad hit you can just follow it with another one I have to give it to the developers though, huh? They create amazing worlds. Just imagine them creating an RPG, you know, a little bit more in depth with stats and stuff like that. Actually, this is an RPG, but like there is more to do than just hunting. It will be amazing, man. And instead of multiple maps, one gigantic one maybe? And then get an update for a second gigantic one, you know, down the line. And by another gigantic one, I would mean the size of two maps into one. They have created many maps though, right, you know? So, hmm, I like the idea. Hey, warning call. Now, let's see. How much damage do we actually do? We do a lot of damage even with this one though. It is not really a massive, you know, like, boom. It's not really a mess. Really? We didn't miss that? Cool. Well, you deserve to live then, I suppose. Except you. Down you go. But yeah, you know, like, uh, oh, <laughs> it's actually dead. All right. Well, um, no, he's not alone in the dark. All right. But the thing though is, right, you know, it is a good gun. I don't think it is made for moose, right? Or, oh no, buffalo is nine. And these guys are eight. And the bears are sevens, I believe. These are eight. Yeah, class eight. All right, not bad. The caliber is made for it, but these bullets do less damage. Less damage than, uh, how shall I say, right, you know, than uh, the 7mm. So keep that in mind. It does less penetration and less expansion. Ooh. Yeah, mine. A little bit of an overkill, though. Alright, let's grab the attention of the neighborhood here, huh? Chopeka was an important area to the indigenous population before the frontier expansion and smallpox epidemic. 
The descendants have a reservation elsewhere today, but the reserve has worked with them to raise some totem monuments to honor these grounds. All right, very cool. Totem monuments, huh? Man, who does this? Who keeps doing that? It's the same corner everywhere, right? You know, except a couple of them. Hmm. It's a terrible thing, right? The smallpox. Oh, I saw one to pop them right there, right? Wait a minute. What is your rating? 290. That is quite high, man. Invalid target? Thank you! <laughs> what is the other one? 232. Two. This one. Come on, boy! Nope. All misses. There is one teddy bear. Five medium range, so we gotta be very careful about it. I would love for him to get towards me. But I don't think that will happen. So I will just shoot him right in his broadside. If we get into proper range. And by the way, we are in proper range, by the way. So yeah, this is the rifle that we did uh, test out with, right? So it's either a 200 meters or a 300 meters uh, cross here attack and well i call it an attack but you know what i mean right there there we go you, it should be right in his lungs right there we go it's dropping it's dropping come on come on do the quick kill bonus thing 50 okay yeah i think we do get the quick kill bonus let's hope i do And there he lies. Okay, that's a beautiful little thing. Come on, let it be the case. There we are. Quick kill. Oh, really? We had to kill it even quicker than that? Excuse me. We killed... Pe well, no, not pets. I keep calling them pets because they are a bear. But we have... You know, and my logo is a bear. I mean, that would be very bad to kill your pets, right? You know? It, uh, but the thing, <laughs> though, is we have killed these creatures way slower, right? And it was a quick kill bonus of at least 125. I mean, that's a little bit odd, though. Just a little bit odd. So the thing though is with this rifle, I have to be right in the heart, either the freaking brain, or get close enough to get a double lung penetration, right? Because the shot what we did was a beautiful shot though, but it was not quick enough for the game. That's a shame. Look at that there. It's of 2018 or something. I am not sure uh, how I did get my hands on this though. I mean... I have played the game for an hour on the Xbox years and years and years ago. I really did enjoy it though, but I wanted to create of a get some extra time on my hands back then uh, for let's play of it. But I mean, they never had really time for the game though, right? That's a shame. Then I forgot about it a little bit, and I'm so happy to be back. Right? I am so much enjoying the game. And by the way, I would advise hunting bears at lakes and rivers and stuff like that around 5 to eh, 8, right? You know, because then they are drinking 
It makes it a little bit easier to find them. We sadly lost a couple of uh, drinking spots for bears because we did take them out there. Alright, this is going to be interesting. Uh, sniffy, sniffy, sniff, sniff. There you go. Let's go like that. Come on, black bear. I know that you did uh, smell me. But it doesn't mean that you have to keep doing that right now, right? So let's just be friends. Somewhere over there is a black bear. Let's just hope that he's coming this way. If not, I just have to track him, right? He's calm though, but I want to have a proper shot on him. He's kind of merry though, you know? Kind of happy. Just get over here. The wind direction nicely changed. But let's be honest, I'm kind of nervous right now, right, you know? Let's go a little bit back. There he is. Just stop. Okay, two shots. Okay, now he is quicker dead. This should be at least a hundred, right? You know, if not, I only can do hard shot. Oh, yeah. Man, I got a stroke there, didn't I? A hard shot. Not a hard stroke. <laughs> Here we are. Two final shots. Nice. Nobody said anything, right? You know, about uh, only shooting it once. And 250. Beautiful. Nice. Oh, no. Only one more. I should have shown the x-ray vision, right? Yep. Regrettably. I forgot about it. I was just happy that we got one. Here, Dad, help me spot the first moose I ever harvested. It was a warm summer day, August 1990. PBT. Hmm. Apparently, PBT was an American poet or writer. So I, I couldn't find anything that he was really a hunter or whatever, but. The, the have actors in the game with quotes and of course, you know, now we have PBT over here. And why not, right, you know? It would have been awesome to have real people or, uh, you know, that do the hunting. To have a quote. You know, just just go to one of the, the towns, right, you know, where you are actually making the, uh, the game. Like I'm sure in this region are a couple of people that live here. I think we are going to build this one. And then it would have been cool, actually, right? You know, like, uh, yeah, you know, like, well, right over there or something. Like, uh, my dad used to teach me. That would be very nice. But why not other famous people, right? You know, that's also pretty cool. But for some average Joe, you know, with a clean track record or something, so you are not associated with something bad in your game, it will mean so much for them, right? Because they will never be in the spotlight, and then out of nowhere they are inside of a game, you know what I mean? Just by a quote or whatever, but that's cool though. Interesting little shack. I think we are going to explore that one. 
There might be a collectible around, you know. So far, not a lot of bears around here. But then again, they are quite rare, to be honest. Compared to deers and moose, at least, right? You know, and bunnies. Turkey. Coyotes are even more rare, I believe, than the black bears. At least I don't see a lot of them. Oh. There are some little mooshies. Muscovicia. There you go. Ah, I told you guys, huh? Look at that. That's a massive antler. Nicely shredded off. There you go. Beautiful. Ah, oh, look at that. Very nice. I knew there was a bear around. He's going this way, so I'm going this way too. So we have to keep an eye on him. He's quite a, quite a lot further away than I want him to be, though. But he cannot hear me right now, so that is really, really good. But I have to be careful around those bushes. If not a little bit sooner, you know what I mean? Peggy, get over here. And then I have to try to spot him ASAP. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is going to be exciting, right? Can we do it with this beer? Ay, 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 ay. We will have to find out. Let's go a little bit sideways here, right? You know? So that I don't get too close too fast. See what I mean? Come on. There we are. He's around there, so... Oh, there he is. Wow, really? Hungry or lonely, my bear? Maybe both, huh? Ay, 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 ay. Come on. Just, just drop it, man. I think that's a quick kill bonus of 100 anyways. But my, 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 my. He knew something was up, right? He just knew it. Okay, massive vital shot two times, though. Very nice. But man, he just knew it, though. He... Oh, poor guy. Always listen to your instinct, guys, right? Before there's someone like me with a rival around, I suppose, right? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not a bear? Yeah. All right, fleeing. If this is not a quick kill, that will be. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Nice. Yep, quick kill. There we go. What? That was a quick kill bonus of at least a hundred, though, huh? Okay. Either this mission is whack or I am. I don't know what's going on, though. That was a quick kill ba bonus of 220, wasn't it? 220, my dudes. There we go with that one. Ah, how far away are you, my boy? Quite a bit away still. Look at him drinking there. Maybe it wants me to do so without a scope. And I mean, how dumb would that be? Right, you know what I mean? The other one we killed without a scope. No, we did kill with a scope too. I was aiming first without a scope. Beautiful. 
Beautiful eagle. Oh, you're beautiful too, though, huh? You little seagull. Man, the landscape is just fantastic to look at. The best thing right now is, is that I'm coming actually from behind, right, you know? So he does not see me. The chances are less that he hears me. But what is not cool... Oh, he's staring at me, damn it. Ay, 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 ay. I'm a little butterfly. But let's get this guy into the grave right now, or into her stomach. Hmm. We can just crawl a little bit closer. That will not be a problem for me. Now he's walking, okay. Now we gotta be careful. What the? What the? Why? This does not make any sense at all, though. There was nothing blocking it, though. Nothing was blocking it, right? Nothing at all. I am shocked, though. He had a guardian angel on his side. That's not fair. It was a perfect shot though, right? You know, he was not down a valley, nothing at all. He was just it was just a clear cast though. Clear aim, and that's it. Got a moose over there. There should be a bear around here somewhere, right? The one that we did see fly floating away before. Float because he did run so fast. Yeah, he wanted to get out of that place, right? Alright, the bear is around here somewhere. But there's a problem, right? Look at the wind direction. It's not on my side. That's that's affecting some. Now, where did Pooh Bear go to? Oh, right over there. Okay, by the bushes. Now, let me get the intel of this over here. Little bunny, little bunny, little bunny. Oh, there she is, though. There she is. Okay. Fat turkey in the sky. Where are you at, Pooh Bear? I was a little bit too distracted, I might think. Come on. Where are you? I think Pooh Bear just did run away, right? Yeah. Wow, those turkeys saved his life, though. I hope he's going to spare a couple of them then, huh? I just keep on walking. Look at that thing. Man, he's just teasing me right now, huh? Oh. 
Man, the wind is against me though, right? It just keeps following me wherever <laughs> the beer is going. It is giving the beer such an unfair advantage though. And I have to say I'm massively over recording uh, as is, right? You know, so <laughs> I'm just sitting here laughing <laughs> and being annoyed at the same time, man. The duality of humankind, I suppose. My, oh my, oh my. Okay, I can see Pooh Bear right over there, though, huh? I did see up there. But my, oh my, it just keeps following where the wind is going. It is such a smart Pooh Bear, I'm telling you. So smart he is. I just have to chase him into a whole different direction, I suppose, right? Because right now, we just play catch-up to the matchup, though. I don't know, man, but it's, it's annoying, though, isn't it? Hmm. Come on, I could not get a proper aim in. No. Yeah, well, we got him, but we don't get the bonus anymore. At least we are getting the shots in, though. At least one hit. But it's not what we wanted, though. It's not what we wanted. And I know I could have waited and everything, but do we really... Worry about only one bear right now. He wanted to go all the way over there. Yeah, you know, just head towards one direction. The game knows, right? The game absolutely knows. But by that, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode where we are going to hunt a bear properly. Oh man, totally out of air. Papa, if you had a little laugh at me though, just let me know. And I will see you guys in the next. Come on. Come on, breather. Breathe in. Air. Oh my god. Episode. Yeah, total miss. <laughs> I'm going to get him though, and I will see you guys once we hunt a proper bear. Bye-bye!